All right, with me is Betsy Cluck Kyle from the Seattle Public Library, where she is an early childhood specialist there. You've actually been there, what, 14 years or so? 14 has years it always so. been doing this kind of work? Um, yes, it has. We've always um, had, at 14 years ago, we kind of were linking the early childhood world to the library world mm -hmm. and bringing more focus on that. Now, now you said that you do a, a rockin' good presentation with those uh, <laughs> zero to three year olds right. and the three to five, but, but tell me with, with the kids that are like that uh, very, very small, zero to three, they can't stay still. What do you do uh, in, you do little presentations with them, how do you get their attention? We do a regular story time, we call it toddler story time, and we, um, it depends on the group size, we can have 20, 30, up to 60, 80 kids and adults in the room and um, for that age group it's not developmentally appropriate to, to think that they're going to be sitting for 30 minutes and listening to stories. So we incorporate a lot of movement, a lot of songs and a lot of conversations somewhat on the adult level and on the kid level to encourage learning throughout the whole realm of, of songs, music, um, not just sitting in books, and they're all literacy-based skills that they're so, learning. But you're not only actually, you're helping the kids learn something, oh, yeah. but you're really helping the parents in teaching them how they can help their child learn. And tell me about that. It's, um, it's a little bit of a fine-tuned fine machine when you're standing up in front of 30, 40, 50 kids and then at the same time you want to talk to the parents and one of the things I love doing is when when you're holding up a book and I rub my finger across the line and say and then I'll sell, tell the adults just run your finger across the words they don't know what they are now they're just black squiggles on a page but eventually they'll connect that those black squiggles are words and, that they'll and that's the whole idea of getting them to know what a book is, to understand that there are words there. Is that crucial in then helping them realize that eventually they're going to learn to read, and maybe helping them read? What's crucial is the enjoyment of reading together. That's the crucial part. Um, handling a book, knowing that the pictures follow, you know, the story follows a, fo a storyline and that the pictures help tell the story. Those black squiggles are words. Those are all come naturally. I don't think people really have to teach. It's the enjoyment of a book, um, that books are exciting, that books take you to far off places, all those things that you've heard for years and years. Intuitively, kids will pick up sentence structure because they've heard it over and over again. Your reading voice is very different than your speaking voice. So they totally will and understand. And especially with kids, because oh, you, know, yeah. you do this, you, you tend to talk like them or trying to get their attention. Talk about bathing your child in books. I, I tell parents every now and then, you just need to bathe them in books, bathe them in language of all kinds. So for instance, if um, talk about what you're doing when you're doing it, but don't talk at them. I, I kind of feel like some parents are just constantly barraging, now what's the word I want? Yeah, overwhelming them, overwhelming with, these things, yeah. them with, with language and not necessarily that. I like to give the image of you talking with your kid, not at your kid. And when you say bathe them, but I mean, are you talking Literally. about bath time? Well, bath time, that? you can do it, but, but if you're in the car and you're waiting and you, you want to play a word game with them, you know, say, oh, think of something that sounds like dog. I'm thinking frog. You know, you play games just as you're killing time, quote unquote. Now, as you're doing this, is this helping them and preparing them for the preschool experience or daycare or kindergarten? It's, it's preparing them for that success in life. When they have a root in language and, and have a firm base of vocabulary and more than directional language, I think when parents get really stressed and overwhelmed, they think um, all they're doing is giving their kids directions. Go put on your coat. We need to leave. Let's sit down for dinner. You know, when you have a more um, broad base and enjoyment, books are the perfect avenue to bring that fun part of language to them. When they have that, they will be ready to learn better. When, and studies have shown this, that reading helps improve kids be ready for kindergarten, ready for a preschool experience. Um, then they deal with other issues, and that's not a hurdle that they have to jump over. Now, what if English is a second language? Perfect. I love this. I love this question because um, a lot of families have come to the states, 
They're new immigrant and refugees. English is their second language, and they feel their kids need to learn English first. And if they speak their home language, it's confusing. And what studies have shown is you need to give your birth, your babies, your toddlers, your preschoolers a firm language base in your home language. The English will come, but if you're not comfortable in English, they will miss, during, while their brain is developing, they'll miss that, that key part of, so, of, of learning language skills. It's just language skills, and it crosses from English to all languages. So sing in the, your native language. Uh, read story, uh, tell stories of your childhood. Um, just anything you can do. If you have books in your native language, and the library has a ton of books, bilingual and in different languages. Because at least you're getting them encouraged, you're connecting them there. Now, mm -hmm. the library, and you have something that you brought here with us. Why don't you yeah. show me this? Uh, this is what a, a kind of a bag of kind of the goodies that the library provides, or this what? Is, yeah, this is one resource we have for early learning, and it's uh, kind of a grab and go um, kit. It has five. Um, board books. This is for the toddler kits, uh, the birth to three-year-olds. So it has five board books and it has a music CD and it has a parenting book or an adult book that gives you resources of fun games and things to do. And then it also has a card that gives you finger plays and activities that all, and you just check it out as one item. Well, and so it supports that whole whole family get to get together, um, just pull this stuff out and enjoy it at one time. It's got the kit all ready yeah. for you. Uh, let me also mention here that there's a summer <gasps> reading program uh, at the Seattle Public Library. This is a, uh, a magazine that has all the information. It's available at all the libraries. You don't have to pay for it. It's yeah. all free. Awesome. And Betsy, uh, this is great information and uh, you know, Libraries is really where it starts, I think, with kids and getting them interested in books and all of these things. It sounds like you have a good time doing this. We have a great time, and, and with um, all the programming, everything, it, it, what, what's wonderful about libraries is it's free to the public, and not everybody, especially for families that are coming into the, the states for the first time, they understand that. It's a totally free resource. All the programming, story times, those are things right off the bat. And, and this kit, that you sh is that something they can check out? They or? check out for okay. three weeks just like is they would check a book. You? No, nope, right. it doesn't cost a thing. Betsy Cluck Kyle from the Seattle Public Library Early Learning Specialist. This has been a lot of fun and great information. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks.